Hello, my name is Piotr Vnuk and I'm a uh, deputy editor for Labels and Labeling magazine. And today I have a pleasure chatting with Max Feinegrad, uh, vice president of Connected uh, Products at Avery Denison, about quite a new exciting lunch. Um, good morning, Max. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, could we start with you telling us a little bit more about Atma.io? Absolutely. Good morning, Peter. It's great to, to be here today. Atma.io is Avery Denison's connected product cloud. It is a platform that brands, supply chains can use to really unlock the value of a connected product and enable use cases like sustainability, transparency, and the end-to-end -end connectivity of individual items and products going through a supply chain. Mm -hmm. So how is it different to other cloud technologies available in the market? It's a great question, Peter. What's really unique about Atma.io is the fact that Atma.io is enabling the widest suite of use cases for connected products across any industry. We really see that there's so much opportunity to support initiatives like brand protection with product authentication, consumer engagement with our unique consumer interaction technology, and also to support track and trace, not just from when the product is produced all the way through to the store, but actually going all the way back to the raw material and then helping to support circularity by enabling consumers to use that item level information to give it a second life. So that comprehensive ability of use cases is very unique. And then when you couple that with our unique ecosystem approach, where we're actually taking a partnership model where we make our platform open to any developer to build applications on top of our platform, we're truly bringing the most comprehensive approach to connected products to the market. Okay, and what, what are the system triggers? Because I know that the biggest challenge at the moment is the, the, the variety of technologies and how, how is Atmaio addressing that challenge? It's, it's, it's a great question, Peter. So we actually take um, the fact that there's so many different types of digital triggers that brands and supply chains could use on products and make it possible to connect every single one of them to one unique digital identity. And the vision with Atma.io is that that one unique digital identity can connect all the different dots in the supply chain. So we're working with customers that are taking NFC tags, connecting them to UHF RFID, and all of those connect directly to one unique digital identity. In other examples, they're connecting QR codes and RFID to marry the supply chain use case of RFID with a consumer engagement potential with QR codes. Again, all of those connect to a single unique digital identity. And for us, what we're trying to do is make it very easy to connect so we can work with any digital trigger in the supply chain or that's consumer facing. And we always tie it back to that one unique digital identity for the product. Are there any items already managed by the platform? Yes, there are actually quite a few items managed by the platform. In fact, while we've been talking, every second we've been adding 50 new connected products to the platform. So there's quite a bit of, of, of activity already happening. And, and what we're doing on the 17th is really our market launch. It's revealing to the world what Atma.io can do, what it's already done for some amazing brands like Adidas, helping to enable circularity and re-commerce using the digital identity of a connected product. We're currently managing over 10 billion connected items already in the Atma.io platform. Our readers are mostly interested in uh, tangible and practical information. Um, could you give us an example of how brands can start using the platform and what benefits does it present to their products? Absolutely. A great example for how brands can start using the, pro the platform is by creating a unique serialized digital trigger. That could be a QR code or an NFC tag or an RFID tag and then attaching that to the physical item and doing that at the production process. That association between the digital trigger and that unique individual item then creates a connected product. As soon as that association occurs, every time an individual interacts with that digital trigger, there's a data event. That event gets captured in the Atma.io platform. So now you can know exactly where your product is every step of the way and what's happening to it. We can even connect to unique sensor technologies that can monitor the temperature of the product or the weight or the movement of the product. So now brands and supply chains and even consumers can know not just where the product is and what's happening to it, but also the condition that it's in. And so it really becomes, from a practical perspective, that first moment of, of giving birth to the connected product then almost creates the snowball effect as the data just continues to build and build throughout its journey. 
Oh, great. You mentioned before that uh, this is an open platform. Uh, so it doesn't mean that developers can sort of develop their own um, functionality and add functionalities such as uh, uh, tracking sustainability, uh, uh, CO2 footprint, or uh, even brand protection. Is that possible? Absolutely. It, it really, the, the possibilities are limitless um, when it comes to the opportunities for our ecosystem. So what we try to do with Atma.io is make it very easy for developers, entrepreneurs, and third parties to integrate and connect to our platform. You can start by just joining our sandbox environment, which is available online to anybody. And by signing up, a brand or a development partner can quickly see how they can connect their data or their technology through a very simple API into the various modules that we've built. And each module, think of it as something that powers a use case. So we have an authenticate module, an interact module, a trace module, and on and on. And all of those now have unique inter connection points so that anyone that wants to build on our platform can do so. Fantastic. And you, you also mentioned Adidas. Uh, could you give us like a real life example uh, of a brand using it? Yeah, let me go a little bit deeper into the Adidas example, actually, to, to explain exactly how we're supporting everything that they do with billions of products. What happens in the Adidas Infinite Play program is consumers are able to register the products that they buy from the brand and connect that into their Adidas app experience. Mm -hmm. And through that application, they're able to then also give the product a second life. So let's say that you have a pair of Adidas sneakers and you've been using them for a couple of years and you're done with them. You wanna give them a second life though because you don't wanna create additional waste. What you can do is then go through the Adidas app and by then connecting to the product again, scanning and entering the article information, you're then able to then get a voucher from the brand to then be able to say, hey, get her for you know, 20 euros, here is your voucher to return your sneaker. And then you can give that sneaker a second life. Now, behind the scenes, what Abio is doing is enabling the connection of that product information back to the consumer so that we can create a very unique interaction between that specific sneaker that's being returned and the brand. And so what we're enabling is the fact that Adidas has billions of items that they produce every single year. And those billions of items can now be connected one-to-one -to, -one to the consumer in a way that gives them the, the, the power to then give it a second life. And an interesting stat actually is, is that it was estimated that for every nine months that you can extend the life of a, of a sneaker, you can actually reduce the carbon cost of that product by 20 to 30%. So in addition to getting paid to participate in the circular economy, you're actually making a contribution to the environment as well. Wow, that's a fantastic news. And great uh, uh, customer engagement example, fantastic. Is there anything um, else you would like to add uh, other than uh, the subjects we spoke about? A absolutely. Uh, a couple of things I think that would be interesting to, to speak to is, is what we're doing in, in other industries as well, because mm -hmm. this is a, a very unique platform that can touch use cases in any single industry. One unique one is that we've actually developed our platform to enable the tracking of real-time temperature of products. And by doing that in, say, the pharmaceutical environment, we can now enable real-time tracking of things like blood bags going through a blood donation process or tracking COVID-19 vaccine vials. And we've actually developed technology to work closely with some unique sensor data that can work on the item level and then connect that data so that as a consumer, I know that before I take my medicine or before I get an injection, that I'm able to see that visibility that this product is safe, it was kept at the right temperature at every step of the way. As a healthcare provider, I'm able to track my inventory, not just at the existence or the inventory item level, but all the way down to the actual condition level. And, and then if you translate that to other markets, we can now enable a connected cold chain, not just at the case level or the truck level, but all the way down to the individual product. And that makes a tremendous amount of value for food supply chains when it comes to things like recall. We can now zero in on exactly which items are being recalled from which lots and also be able to, in the future, predict when recalls may happen because conditions may change. And that can actually happen by having that temperature information. If you know something was out of temperature throughout its journey, you can help potentially prevent that from then being you know, actually sold to a consumer and, and then potentially mitigate 
a significant amount of risk and also ensure the health and safety of the consumer. Fantastic. Wow, the, the, the possibilities are really endless. Uh, it's, it's really exciting. You must be really exciting that you're launching it uh, finally. How, how long did it, uh, did, did it take to, to work on that project altogether? Absolutely, it's, it's, it's a great question. And, and, and actually the, the, the journey that Avery Dennison has been on is, is really a remarkable one. As we all know, Avery Dennison has really built the industry of, 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 of labeling technologies and over the last several years has been the leader in intelligent labels. So those digital triggers I was talking about before, we're now seeing the next chapter of Avery Dennison's digital transformation come to life uh, with this launch, which is the birth of Atma IO. And what that really means is that Avery Dennison has been on this journey creating a digital venture as we call it, which is Atma IO. And so we've been building this like a startup, but inside of the Fortune 500. And that's really enabled what I call the best of both worlds. If you think of a startup, it's all about making you know, fast decisions and being able to take risks and move quickly. We've been able to do that and actually stand on the shoulders of giants and then leverage the, the value of having this global scale and support. So now we can bring customers, a connected product cloud that we built very, very quickly, already seeing a ton of traction with 10 billion plus items on the platform but then also provide what Avery Dennison can uniquely do, which is help support the implementation of a connected product rollout with thousands of field service and support personnel all around the world. So we can turn on hundreds of factories in Asia for a brand while at the same time supporting rapid rollouts of new technologies by having an agile development team as well. It's fantastic. Well, It is really exciting and I look forward to see it uh, in action. Uh, Max, it was great to meet you virtually and um, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate your early start in Boston, <laughs> but thank you very, very much for your time and good luck. Thank you so much, Peter. Take care. Great talking with you.